It's here, people. NASA just released the first official images taken by James Webb. I'm Eric Malachite, and it should be no surprise that we're talking about all five of the images that were just released this week. The first image, known as SMAX 0723, was actually revealed this past Monday by President Biden and his staff. In cosmic terms, if you were the Earth, this image is kind of like if you stretched your hand out as far as it would go and tried to peer at a grain of sand on the tip of your middle finger. That's how small this patch of sky is. You can't see this stuff with a ground-based telescope. What you're looking at right now is a record-breaking image. It's a composite infrared image taken by Webb's NearCam, consisting of images taken at different wavelengths with a total exposure time of 12.5 hours. That is a very quick exposure time. Not only are we looking at a galaxy cluster that formed close to when our own solar system formed, but if we zoom way in, we can see these orange stretched out objects. These are actually galaxies that are just 1 billion years removed from the Big Bang. The combined mass of this galaxy cluster is causing an effect known as gravitational lensing, which is allowing us to see even further back in time than the deepest infrared image taken by Hubble. Kind of like having two images in one. A bonus deep field image, you might say. There is so much detail in this image, it's almost overwhelming. NGC 3324 is the site of a relatively young stellar nebula, known as the Carina Nebula. James Webb has revealed stars that we were previously unable to see. The nebula features huge, gaping areas that have been sculpted out by incredibly massive young stars that burn at intense temperatures, as well as high levels of ultraviolet radiation. The Carina Nebula is also referred to as the Cosmic Cliffs due to their strong resemblance to mountaintops. In fact, the illusory quote-unquote peaks are roughly seven light years quote-unquote tall. Count them, folks. You're looking at five galaxies grouped together, some of them captured in the middle of a violent merger taking place 40 to 290 million light years away from us. Why the disparity? Well, NGC 7320 resides 40 million light years from the Earth, while the other four, NGC 7317, NGC 7318A, NGC 7318B, and NGC 7319, all sit at a point 290 million light years away. But make no mistake, just because one of them is further away, 40 million light years is still fairly close in cosmic terms. There are several key features that need to be pointed out here. One of those is the appearance of new stars that appear to be forming due to the mergers taking place. But perhaps the most stunning aspect of the image is the active galactic nucleus of NGC 7319, displayed in glorious detail here. This supermassive black hole is 24 million times the mass of our star and appears super bright in the image due to the fact that matter is actively falling into the black hole. Side note, bonus points to anyone who can tell me in the comments what movie made Stefan's Quintet famous. The Southern Ring Nebula is a dying star image like none other before. We can clearly see in this comparison shot how much more detail we can see now. When stars like our own die, they start expelling a ton of material in successive waves, and we can clearly see those waves present in the nebula here. This is just the first planetary nebulae to be imaged though. Now that Webb is fully operational, we're going to be seeing a lot of these in the near future. And last, but certainly not least, by a long shot, is WASP-96b. While not a visual image, the James Webb team has presented a visual representation of the data it's been collecting on an exoplanet 1.2 times Jupiter's diameter and half its mass. WASP-96b is a hot Jupiter more than 1,000 light years from us. It takes around three and a half days for it to complete a single orbit at a distance that is one ninth that of Mercury's distance from our own star. Webb's observations of WASP-96b have revealed the telltale presence of water vapor and the surprising presence of clouds as well as evidence of haze. Previously, scientists did not think clouds existed on this planet, so that is pretty cool. This graphical representation of data represents the beginning of James Webb's exoplanetary observations, and I for one cannot wait to see what it can image directly in our visual spectrum. And really, that statement could be made for all of the images revealed this week. 
they represent the dawn of a new era of astronomy, and I'm incredibly excited to see what happens next. That's why I'm drinking, not because the world is on fire. T this time. For example, will we get some up close and personal proof of the great cosmic cow? That's all I've got for you today, but if you dug this content, be sure to do all that algorithmic jazz and like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and join the Discord to chat with other science nerds like you. And hey, look at all those wonderful names. Thank you, patrons. I'm Eric Malachite. And I'll see you next time, Space Cowboy. Aw, I'm out of whiskey.